<coughs> but let's move on now and talk about some more earnings. Uh, DB Realty announced their numbers over the weekend. NM Gattu, the CFO of the company, joins us now. A good set of numbers. Revenues have gone up to 71 crores versus 55 crores, while profits have gone to 8 crores versus 37 lakhs on a year-on-year -year basis. So that's a big jump. The other income is higher this time around, so that's helped uh, boost their profits as well. Um, Mr. Gattu, if you can just start off by telling us what the margins were uh, in this particular quarter and have you seen an improvement compared to what you what you clocked in last quarter? Mr. Gattu, is my voice reaching you? Yes. Yes, go ahead. The results from the top line point of view has been stable for the last three sequential quarters. Mm -hmm. It has been around 70 crores. That's how if you see the nine monthly revenues are at 210 crore versus the current quarter top line at 71 crores. The Kandibli project has been completed and we don't have any further revenue recognition there. The currently we have three projects under which the uh, revenue recognition is happening. That is our Baisha project, Gokulham project and the TDR that we have. Mm. In this quarter of October to December, while we have recognize the revenues from Geyser, Gokulam project which had received the OC in December December month has looked with double the revenues that it had recognized for the last several quarters. In this current quarter it has recognized about 50 crores plus while it was stable revenues at 25 crores. The TDR has not seen any revenue recognition this quarter because we are awaiting for the release of the defect liability period TDR which we hope that in this quarter it will come and the next two quarters that should show us about 70 crore revenues. Okay. The other pro companies' projects which are yet to recognize the revenues are Kapadiri, Mahalakshmi and Chandipri projects which we should see the revenue recognition from the next financial year. Okay. So for Q4, Mr. Gattu, what are the projects that you would generate revenue from and which will show? The Daisa project, Gokulam project as well as the TDR project in Mahul. So these three projects should give us revenues while in this quarter of October to December, TDI has not contributed any top line. Okay, okay. So uh, you said the Prabhadevi, Mahalakshmi and Chandali project will start showing you revenue uh, next financial year onwards. What could that uh, quantum of revenue recognition be? The total project revenues of these three projects is about 7,000 crores. Mm -hmm. But depending on the percentage completion methods and how they... Uh, completion happens and how the mathematically it comes into so we should be having it but I guess it should be about 100 crore contribution to the top line quarter to quarter. So and what are your other projects besides the ones that will begin execution or revenue recognition in FI16 something that would be on the anvil which you are contemplating at this point in time? Yes. Uh, one of the in the press releases we mentioned is about our survey number 92 project which has received the clearances from the authorities with regard to the private forest tag. It is about a 16 acre project where it is a clean land parcel but it was not receiving the approvals because of private forest tag. So that should get unlocked very soon as well. And as you have just mentioned about the profits, if you see that the legal and professional expenses has gone 40 fold from the normative quarter on quarter expenses that is primarily because of all these unlocking that we have been doing in the last quarter. Okay. Uh, you did mention that the Gokuldam project recognized about 50 crores in this quarter. Uh, can you tell me on an average what has the blended realizations been in this quarter and what's a sustainable realization that you can see in Q4? This project has been stable at about 25 crore because 97% of this project has been completed. So because the uh, OC has been received and the last possession monies have been started coming in, which is 5% or the project has been locked up. So that's how you see that you know, the revenues have doubled this quarter. And uh, for the two quarters also we should see about 50 crore uh, top line also on this project as well. And, and after the two quarters this project will stop contributing to the top line. All right. Uh, all the best for the quarters to come and congratulations on a good set of numbers. That's the word coming in from DB Realty. We'll take a break, but joining us next to detail their earnings will be Sarang Vadavan.